Four years ago, a company from Ukraine started developing an electric bike prototype with an intention to be used in a fleet of last-mile delivery vehicles. The prototype turned out to be so good that it's even put into a book of Guinness World Records as an electric bicycle with the longest riding range. This award has brought a lot of customer attention towards this model and its creators decided to start mass-producing bikes under the Delfast brand. Over the years, the model has gone through several production cycles and is offered in its top 3.0 modification. For the 2021 model year, the two-wheeler received a powerful electric motor with a peak output of 6,000 watts. Such motor is capable of 50 mile per hour speeds. Despite such electrifying performance, the riding range is said to be close to 200 miles on one charge. You can exchange the range even further if you decide to use the pedals by engaging one of the available pedal assist modes, as well as the energy recuperation system. With its upgraded specifications, this bike has proven to be one of the most versatile options on the modern market. It is also equipped with a set of motorcycle-like tires that are good for both city riding and light off-roading. If you are considering getting Top 3.0 as a trail adventure machine, Delfast has recently announced a cross-dirt modification. It loses the pedals in favor of foot pegs, but obtains a more comfortable seat. Electric bikes with moped-like appearances, elongated seats, and fat tires seem to be getting the most attention from potential customers. Although the designs of most of these bikes, as well as riding positions, can be described as unconventional by most riders, people would love to see more moped-style e-bikes on the road and are ready to put their money into funding the production of new models. CyberX is one of the most recent products that has received tremendous support from investors. Its creators are promising to bring to the market a highly customizable e-bike with very promising specifications. In brief, the production-ready model is said to ride at speeds up to 50 miles per hour, carry up to two passengers, and run for up to 50 miles on a single charge. This electric bike's powertrain consists of a belt-driven mid-mounted motor with output rated at 750 watts. It can operate in two modes, street and race. The street mode significantly limits the power output and the top speed of this model, thus making CyberX suitable for city commuting. However, the race mode will make this model highway and off-road capable. The off-road capabilities are guaranteed by the bike's rugged motorcycle tires and a full suspension system. Besides having great performance parameters, CyberX comes with a great deal of customization options. Lucky owners of this vehicle will be able to choose the color of the LED lighting, frame, seat, and laser cut side panels. The E-Rocket is the result of over 10 years of developing during which hundreds of modifications and real-world tests have taken place. Even though this urban transportation vehicle can now perform many electric motor bikes of the 125cc class, the manufacturer refuses to call its product an e-motorbike, and the reason is its bicycle-style pedals. The E-Rocket offers a unique muscle power multiplication mechanism called the Human Hybrid. Here is how this new technology works. Once you start pedaling, the pushing power is transferred to the mid-frame electric generator, which multiplies the kinetic energy and gives a potent forward thrust. Such drive system has the peak power output of 16 kilowatts and can top at 55 miles per hour. Depending on your riding conditions, the bike is capable of delivering up to 75 miles of emission-free riding. Developed by the Swedish-American company Rambler Motors, the Air is the new entry-level model in the brand's range. The bike was designed for everyday commuting, while also offering enough power and range for fun weekend trips. Powered by a 1,000-watt electric motor, the Air can be ridden in throttle or pedal assist modes, developing a maximum speed of 30 miles per hour. It gets single and dual battery options and can carry you for 38 to 75 miles on throttle alone. The bike is built on an all-aluminum frame fitted with a front fork suspension and it is equipped with Tektro brakes and a wireless charger for your phone. Recently, the model received two new performance modifications named Air SS and Air SST. Although Rumble Air SS is still equipped with a set of pedals, it has specifications of a fully-fledged motorbike. Being powered by a 5,000-watt rear hub motor, it can easily reach the top speed of 65 mph. 
The pedal-free riding is said to be close to 100 miles. The hydraulic regenerative brake system is also there to catch some of the energy and recharge the 72 volt 50 amp hour battery on the go. Finally, the Air SST model is a modification for those who enjoy the looks of old style cafe racers. It has the same specifications as the Air SS model, but a completely reworked exterior design with cafe racer handlebars, custom powder coated finishes, custom laser cut cover panels, and much more. Evolution Power Bikes was created by a team of enthusiasts from the UK who wanted to engineer a powerful yet quiet alternative for MTB and downhill riding fans. Their current model lineup consists of several models with power outputs ranging from 6 to 12 kilowatts. Every of their bikes is also customizable and upgradable, so you'll be able to choose the capacity of the 72 volt battery, specific type of front suspension forks, rear suspension dampers, and four piston brakes for your bike. The list of additional upgrades and optional equipment include front LED and rear lights, custom frame color, phone holder with USB socket, etc. If you feel that you would ever need more speed, the company also has a custom bike build program that will let you put together a unique model with up to 20 kilowatts of power and 50 mile per hour capabilities. The lightweight design of the FRX1 may create an impression that it's just another rugged bicycle, but its motorcycle level specs prove the opposite. The FRX1 is built on a lightweight mid-drive frame and has an off-road adjustable suspension with 250mm of travel, both front and rear. Taking advantage of a twist throttle, the liquid-cooled brushless motor delivers 20 horsepower and has a peak torque of 206 pound-feet. The 2.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery has an estimated range of 62 miles and will need six hours to recharge from a standard outlet. Please note that until recently this e-bike was offered with a pedal assist option, but the company decided to retire it for the 2021 model year, thus turning FRX1 into a trail only machine. High Power Cycles is an American manufacturer of performance e-bikes with over 10 years of experience in the field. The current model lineup consists of a variety of off-road ready electric bicycles with power outputs ranging from 750 watts to 8,000 watts. The company's most powerful motors are reserved for the range topping Revolution and Revolution X models. These downhill electric bikes are built on aluminum and carbon fiber frames that are strong enough to sustain speeds close to 60 miles per hour. With such motor setup, you'll need some great stopping power. Luckily, it is provided by MT7 quad piston brakes with new 220mm rotors. The bike's standard 203mm rock shock forks and air shock that provides 9 inches of frame travel are there to supply you at flagship performance on every of your downhill rides. The base battery setup of Revolution X can provide 55 miles of zero emission riding. It should also be noted that battery pack upgrades are available too. For example, the largest 2400 watt hour pack option can extend your range to 100 miles. Besides the battery upgrades, you can choose between available colors, motor, and suspension types, and charger options. Vector is a high-performance e-bike manufacturer that currently has three models in the lineup, Storm, Typhoon, and Vortex. Two of these models are built on high-strength steel frames that can endure 10 kilowatts of peak power and 50 mile per hour top speeds. With such performance parameters, the latter models attracts the most attention from potential buyers. The Typhoon is equipped with a regular bicycle seat and is engineered to perform well on dirt trails and off-road conditions, where 10,000 watts of power output may come in handy. The bike's factory installed battery has a capacity of 3.8 kilowatt hours and can provide the range of 120 miles. 
These estimates are for throttle only riding with the average speed of 15 miles per hour. You can extend the range by pedaling or engaging one of the regenerative braking systems. Vortex is the range-topping model in this manufacturer's lineup, unlike other e-bikes. It has a mid-mounted motor layout and a larger frame that can incorporate a motorcycle-style seat for two. The Vortex is meant to show incredible performance off-road, but if you need to use it on even surfaces, it can be modified for either higher max speeds or faster acceleration. When tuned for fast acceleration, the 0 to 30 miles per hour sprints would take just 3 seconds. Such power has to be controlled properly, so the e-bike received a braking system with double calipers in the front and 4 piston hydraulic brakes in the rear. Q140MD is a high-performance electric mountain bicycle that can easily compete with and in some cases outperform many modern ICE motorcycles in the same weight class. This model is based on a sturdy steel frame that can sustain extreme off-road riding sessions. Besides being strong, this frame was smartly designed to support a variety of customizations and additional modules. Depending on your needs, you can switch between foot pegs and a pedal assist system, a regular and motorcycle seat, MX and road tires, battery packs of various capacities, as well as throttle setups. The Q140MD shows its full potential in off-road conditions, but if you need to take it to public roads, there is a setting that limits the power to just 250 watts in order to comply with local regulations. The last thing that needs to be mentioned is the bike's range. When talking about a machine with 12 kilowatts of power, even the most optimistic range estimations come up short. According to the manufacturer, this mountain bike can last for up to 85 miles on the lowest power setting and with occasional pedaling. The full performance throttle only riding depletes the battery charge at much higher rates, 60 watt hours per every kilometer written to be exact. The Board Track is a modern electric bicycle with design language greatly inspired by sport motorcycles from 100 years ago. This model was created by a team of experienced craftsmen that put their heart and soul into production of handmade saddles, leather purses, and other bespoke accessories. Although the Broad Track looks like it came from the previous century, its technological package is quite rich even by modern standards. The e-bike is powered by a mid-mounted electric motor with 10 kilowatts of output. Such setup enables it to reach speeds close to 60 miles per hour. Despite being equipped with pedals, the bicycle's installed 72 volt, 54 amp hour battery will let you travel up to 100 miles without breaking a sweat. Once the battery runs out, you can use the pedals to finish your commute and recharge it at home. A typical charging session usually takes around 5 hours. Participate in the conversation below the video and mention your favorite electric vehicle from today's lineup. Like this video to support the electric revolution and subscribe to our channel if you don't want to miss the latest EV news. Check out the suggested episodes on the screen and we'll see you later.